Hey guys, Chevy here again. Adam's over here, but we're not doing anything today. I just wanted to give you a little rundown on what we're doing and uh, what's gonna be happening in the next few days. So, I didn't do anything this weekend is the real problem. I, I've been being lazy, just hanging out with fam or whatever, so. We're gonna blow up a Volkswagen motor with nitrous. We're not gonna do that. Good. Clickbait. Anyways, uh, <laughs> we sure could if we got it running first. We got bottles, you know. These guys. But, anyways, so we got my wife's bug in here. This is her dad's. He passed away. But, anyways, I got all brand new brakes for it. Brand new wheel cylinders, shoes, lines. I mean, everything. Got a brand new wiring harness, fuse box. All the, you know, it's just an Amazon one, but. The one we took out of here had been chewed through by mice in several spots, but we pulled the gas tank out because it had been moved back here because it was a Baja. And the floor is just wiped out. So I'm going to cut this out, patch that. Anyways, the battery spot's pretty good. Happy with that. Vacuumed it out because it had a lot of mouse turds in it. It's pretty clean. Honestly, but uh, new master cylinder, all that new stuff. And I'm going to redo the wheel bearings, repack everything while we're in there, check everything out. It's been sitting for, I don't know, 2005 I think was the last time I had tags. Everything's dry, so. Anyways, it's just like a 1600. Got dual Weber's, alternator. Got electronic distributor. Um... It'll be nice and reliable, hopefully. I'll get you a good shot of this thing. Took the wheels and tires off, but tires are just trash too. They've been sitting around, they don't hold air, whatever, but get these wheels cleaned up, repaint them white. We got a pair of brand new 31 1050s right there, and then some uh, 235 75 all terrains up there. We'll throw those on there, it'll have really nice tires. New brakes alternator new wiring harness this thing should be pretty reliable hopefully alicia can cruise it all summer without any problems maybe we can take it to the dunes and stuff It'll be a good time but uh yeah so i got the rear drums off the hardware had fell out in there for the hold the brakes on but everything in here is real crusty so we'll power wash everything out replace everything that's bad that we need to Got to pull the brakes off, pull this bearing out, repack it. I think the axles, everything in here is good. Boots are good. Sound a little dry. Pull those off, of course, some grease in them. I think they'll be all right. I'm gonna change this exhaust too. I don't like it. It does not fit well. I think this piece is different than this piece, so everything's like in the wrong spot. You have to. Give her one of these to get it to be right. I don't like that. That's a lot of tension on the exhaust pipes. I think it'll probably just crack. I got a black one upstairs. I'll put that one on there. It's a nice unit. I'm going to run the wiring harness and we'll change those brake parts. I guess I honestly could start on that. I'll pull those front drums off. I'll pull the drums off. I'll let you see that. How about that? How about that? Reverse threads on this one. The grease is old and pretty dry in here. Still have grease in it though, thankfully, so the bearing should be good. I have to have those turn. They're looking pretty rough. It could just be chit stuck on there. 
Yeah, it looks like a new seal in there. Maybe somebody just did the front. And just sat. Not the shoes though. Those look terrible. All kinds of bugs and junk. Yeah, easy. Pull all this crap out of here. Power wash everything. Maybe I should just unbolt it back here. Take the whole thing. Take it to the car wash and just super clean the piss out of it and pressure wash it off. Huh. Maybe I'll do that. seal on one side. Okay, I don't put the motor on. Didn't both the driver's sides come off pretty easy? Yeah. Both the passenger sides come off pretty hard. Sure did. What? Coincidence? I think not. I, I'm kind of wondering, did the back have a good seal on it? Maybe they just did one side? Maybe. I don't know, this one's got pretty new grease in it. I can still see it's cleanish. Maybe it only needed one seal. <laughs> Maybe. These little torches are handy, man. You can buy them in the stoner section at any little convenience mart. They have butane at any little store and you can get a stuck bolt out pretty easily. A lot of times with one of these. It's just enough heat. We're good for like heat shrinking stuff too on electrical when you're doing it. Also, lighting the fire in your wood stove, <laughs> excellent. Mm -hmm. It's really a multi-purpose tool. I don't think so. Not looking good. Nope. Got some vice grips on here, we'll see what happens. <coughs> oh, oh, I got it. That is correct. And the string on. Nice. Busts it loose in the wheel cylinder, but still stuck in the, in the fitting. to go. I think we might have just twisted the end of it off, but it's always that chance. I broke loose. Okay. I already buzzed the bolts out of this one. Should be able to just knock it off of there. seal definitely there
I'll take these and super clean and power wash the hell out of them because they are nasty. That grease is hard as a rock in there. <laughs> it's like Play Doh. The bearing would not have lasted very long. We'll pull it all out, grease everything up. If it needs replaced, then we'll replace them. But uh, I think they're going to be all right.